Hey guys, it's Rachel here with Osborne Books and More. Today I wanted to do a quick lookbook for you for this book. It's Where's Will? And it's Find Will Shakespeare in His Plays. It's a really, really cute book. Um, it's kind of like the whole Where's Waldo. I don't know if you are around my age, but well, Where's Waldo was like really big with me and my sisters. Um, we had a ton of uh, fun looking on each page trying to find him. So this is a similar concept, except it's also introducing your kids to Shakespeare's place, which I think is really cool. One th really good thing that Esmeralda does is um, transitioning into your older children, getting them into um, real nice literature. So you know, we have a lot of like our illustrated classics, um, which are great ways to introduce your kids to some classics as well. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna go through these real quick for you. So it's got several plays here. You can go ahead and pause it if you want to take a look. But you know it's got Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, The Twelfth Night, a bunch of others, just ten total. Um, so for each play, there's four four pages, and what it does is it kind of summarizes the play. So it's kind of got like different scenes, illustrations from different scenes, and text describing what happened in the play. Um, so they can kind of get familiar with um, some of Shakespeare's classic plays. And then for each story, it has this little character list at the top. It says who the characters are, and it tells them to find these characters on the next page. So on the next page, it kind of looks like this. It's a two-page illustration, lots of people, lots of stuff going on. And then this is where they're going to find each of the characters from that play. So really cute <clears throat> book um, that's going to not only you know educate your children as to Shakespeare and his plays, but also keep them interacted in their books and give them something to do to keep them keep their nose in the book, <laughs> which is what we're all hoping for, right? This is Macbeth. You can see it's really. Um, Gloomy, <laughs> gloomy illustrations. Um, to be honest, some of these plays I had never even heard of, so it's educational for me, for me as well. Anthony and Cleopatra. I just love how the illustrations. Even I think they're all done. Yeah, they're all done by the same illustrator, but he does change it up a bit as far as like color schemes and um, you know the way the people are illustrated to kind of match with what that story is. So you can see the. People in the Cleopatra look different than the some of the other plays. <clears throat> this one I like this page a lot. Well, I just love purple. So this is Midsummer Night's Dream. So again, with the summary of the, the play on two pages, and then this one. I think the, just the border is so pretty on this one. Romeo and Juliet. And then there is an answers section, so it's got each of the illustrations for the play and they're kind of darkened, but then it's light around the characters that they're supposed to find in case the kids get stuck to help them out. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it. Really, really cute book. Um, pretty, pretty detailed illustration, so it's going to be good for your you know, 8 to 10 year olds as well as your younger kids if they're, if they're interested in that. So. See you next time. Bye.